This video will demonstrate how to design a double angle all bolted connection in VA Connect. Let's get started. In this example, we will design double angles bolted at both the beam and the column to connect the web of a W16 by 36 to the flange of a W14 by 90 as shown in the detail. This connection will be designed to resist both shear from dead and live loads and axial loads in both tension and compression from wind. VA Connect allows for the interaction of shear and axial loads in bolted double angle connections by following the design examples produced by AISC. Double angle bolted connections are checked per the AISC Steel Construction Manual Part 10 and the AISC 360 design specification. In accordance with AISC Part 10, the eccentricity on the supported side of the double angle connection, that is, on the beam side, is neglected when there is just a single vertical row of bolts through the beam that does not exceed a distance of 3 inches from the face of the support. When this condition is not met, VA Connect accounts for the eccentricity on the beam side of the connection using the instantaneous center of rotation method to determine the eccentric bolt group capacity at the beam side of the double angle and at the web of the beam. Note, VA Connect assumes that the pin, which allows for rotational ductility in the connection, occurs at the face of the support. Therefore, eccentricity at the fane surface of the double angles and the support is not considered. We will start out via Connect by adjusting the geometry of the connection. Selecting a beam, a W16 by 36 will be chosen from the shape database. In the material database, we will select A992 grade 50 steel. Next, we will adjust the thickness of the support to equal the flange thickness of the W14 by 90 column, and we see that the steel is already set to the value that we want. Selecting the double angles shows that two 5 by 3.5 by quarter inch angles are used by default. Let's adjust the number of bolt rows to 3 starting out and slightly increase the eccentricity on the bolt group. Now we can move on to applying loads to the connection. We will enter values for shear in the dead and live load cases. And then we will enter values for wind in tension in one service case and for wind in compression in another service case. With the service level loads defined, we can go to the load case manager and select which building code we want to use for the load combinations which are automatically generated. Now with the loads and load combinations specified for the connection, we can turn our attention to the project status to see all of the limit states that are automatically checked for the connection. Immediately, we see that several limit states are failing. The double angles are failing in shear yield, shear rupture, and a block shear. Additionally, the bolts are failing in bearing at the web of the beam and in combined tension and shear with prying at the support. The first thing we'll do is increase the thickness of the angles, which results the failure of the limit states for the double angles, but we see that our bolts are still failing at the beam's web and at the support. To try and resolve this issue, let's increase the bolt rows to 4. Now only the bolt tension with shear and prying limit state is failing with a unity value of 1.10. Clicking on this limit state shows that alpha prime is greater than 1.0, which means that the fitting has insufficient strength to develop the full available tensile strength of the bolts. As a result, simply increasing the bolt size will not cause the unity value to decrease. To increase the capacity of the connection, we need to increase the Q reduction factor for prine, which we can do by further increasing the thickness of the angle. After making this adjustment, the combined bolt tension and shear with prine limit state passes. It is also worth noting that in this limit state, the nominal tensile stress of the bolts was modified to include the effects of shear stress. In this case, the nominal tensile stress of 90 KSI was reduced to 81.8 KSI to account for bolt shear. Now all the active limit states for the connection pass and we have no detailing warnings, meaning that the connection is adequate to support the applied loads. Note the flexure yield buckling limit state and the flexure rupture limit state for the double angles 
is currently not checked because the eccentricity on the beam side of the connection is neglected since we have a single vertical row of bolts that does not exceed a distance of 3 inches from the face of the support. If the angles had larger legs on the beam side and the bolts had an eccentricity larger than 3 inches, the flexure limit states for the angles become active and have a unity value greater than zero. The flexure demand for this connection is also accounted for in the interaction limit states which consider combined shear, axial, and flexural loads on the legs of the double angles that connect to the beam. Furthermore, we can see that the eccentricity on the bolt groups at the beam's web and double angle is now considered using the instantaneous center of rotation method. Via Connect also allows for one or both of the flanges of the supported beam to be coped if, for example, we wanted to accommodate an all bolted double angle beam to girder connection as shown in the detail. The specifics of coped beams are discussed in more detail towards the end of the shear tab training video. Now with the design complete, we can switch to the report view to easily create a report to document our work. A concise design summary is automatically generated, showing the maximum demand to capacity ratio or unity value of each limit state. Also, information on the model and loads can be included in the report. Detailed reports that show the calculations for each limit state can be added to the report as well. And finally, summary tables for each limit can be included in the report to show the values of the various parameters for the limit state and to show the unity value for each load set and load combination. In just a few minutes, we have used VA Connect to create an optimal design for our double angle bolted connection and produce a report to document our work. Thanks for watching and have a great day.